Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, May 29th, 2013. Well, a change of trend back to the downside today in a candle with a lower high and a lower low. Previous day's trading we had an establishment of the uh, a new first time frame uptrend that tested just above the uh, Tenkan Sen and held as uh, resistance where the market was rejected from above the Tenkan Sen and today we've seen uh, a change of trend uh, to the downside with a black body candle. For the previous day's trading we saw uh, the uh, very strong price rejection from around the 1674-1675 level where we saw some price rejection in the recent past and a day where the uh, buyers uh, lost commitment the sellers attempted to take control they did take rather weak control but not very strong control of the market but uh, with that candle we did have a white body and the uh, buyers made some net bullish progress on the day between the open and the close with the establishment of this new first time frame downtrend today we have a black body candle and that is supporting the downtrend or the new first time frame downtrend to a degree where we now have the sellers making net bearish progress so they've found some momentum in net terms for the trading day but the sellers here have failed to close the market with control they did test down to uh, roughly around this 1638 1635 level and for the past uh, two out of the previous three trading days the market tested down below there and we saw the market rejected from there so that could be uh, quite significant the strong uh, upside price rejection that we've seen from that area with the sellers losing control and losing commitment around that area for today's uh, candle we have neither side in control of the market with the uh, close roughly around the midpoint level so a day where we've had establishment of the first time frame downtrend and the sellers aren't supporting this uh, new first time frame first time frame downtrend too strongly although we do have as I've mentioned the sellers making some net bearish progress in net terms now this area just below the low of this current candle will be crucial uh, to this market if it is going to trade lower and here we see in the recent past where it acted as a minor level of resistance and now acting as a decent level of support so if we are going to see lower levels we would like to see a, a bearish close down below the 1635 area Obviously to the upside, the area above the uh, 1660 level has been fairly strong resistance to this market. Uh, prior, uh, well, following this uh, very bullish uh, candle that closed above there, we saw some very indecisive trading and then the market sold off with the sellers taking control and that was the only uh, decent amount of trading that we saw up above that 1660 level. The market tested above there for the previous day's trading was rejected from there. So that is an important level of resistance for this market acting in quite a large zone extending all the way up to the 1687 level and then we have the round number 1700 up above there now in terms of pattern uh, there's a possibility that uh, the market is establishing a uh, symmetrical triangle type pattern and here we have uh, a, uh, a congestion area where we have conversion of the highs and the lows within the pattern or the uh, conversion of the peaks and troughs within the pattern we can draw uh, uh, boundaries uh, marking uh, those peaks and troughs they tend to be uh, continuation patterns so uh, and considering that the market is trading up above the cloud and above the kitchen sen it's more likely that we will see a bullish breakout to the upside but we can't preempt breakouts above or below congestion areas we do need to wait and see how the market uh, reacts and completion of the pattern would be a close above or a close down below this uh, symmetrical triangle now uh, they can be uh, uh, reversal patterns as well so if this is a reversal pattern then we could see the market testing back down to around this 1600 level so there is a possibility of that and we should see very very solid support coming into this market down around that area if we do see a bearish close down below there now obviously if uh, when we do see the bracket if we do see it and the close above or below uh, to the upside we'd like to see a, a bullish close to have a lot of confidence in the move but also a bearish close if we do see a downside breakout to have confidence in that move now in terms of the Fibonacci extension and now that we're in a new first time frame downtrend we're examining the relationship of the first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market's trending down and uh, not a uh, very long downtrend previously one uh, or 
or two or three candles, sorry. And uh, but today we've seen the market interacting with the 50% and the 61.8% level and being rejected from there and the market has closed just at the 50% level and this does suggest that there is a possibility of a change of trend back to the upside so let's be on the lookout for a potential higher high and higher low. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement uh, here we've seen uh, rejection from uh, the 78 uh, 0.6% uh, level, uh, minor level, the market tested down below there and was rejected from there but the market has closed down below the 61.8% level and that could be significant. Not terribly confident of follow through to the downside uh, with this first time frame downtrend because of the lack of support by the sellers, some support as I've mentioned because of the black body but we have seen the sellers lose commitment in a major way from uh, around this uh, zone extending down to 16 35. In terms of Ichimoku, obviously a bullish market in the long term time frame still, so we're maintaining that bullish bias in the long term time frame. So that should be dictating whether we're going long or short, as should our bias in the medium term time frame be determined by the Kijun Sen, the pink line here, and the market is still trading up above there, so a bullish bias in the medium term time frame. But we have now seen the market trading below the Tenkan Sen, the green line here, for four consecutive trading days, giving us a bearish market in the short term time frame. And uh, for the previous days trading, the market tested above the Tenkan and that held as resistance. So that will be a very strong area of resistance for this market moving forward and it's very close to where we're trading at the moment. That's around the 1661 level so we do need to watch that. If the market does continue trending down then the uh, Kijun Sen uh, is trading roughly around the uh, lows here and these uh, minor uh, highs here of these candles where we saw some uh, minor rejection and that's around the 1624-1625 level and uh, that should hold us very very strong support for this market so there is potential for the market to find decent support down below but also very very solid resistance overhead so moving forward we're getting some mixed signals with our Ichimoku uh, crucial to this market trading higher and a potential breakout up above the barrier of the uh, um, symmetrical triangle will be a test uh, to the uh, Tenkan Sen if the market does trade up there and a solid bullish close up above there will set the market up and uh, for a potential test above the barrier and a potential breakout uh, up above the symmetrical triangle but also uh, if the market does break out down uh, to the downside the uh, area around the Kijun Sen around 1625 has potential to hold a strong support and stop the market from reaching uh, its uh, target if we do see uh, a, a um, confirmation of that uh, symmetrical triangle. So uh, basically we do need to watch uh, around the low of the current candle uh, and down around 1640 for a potential lower hot low and lower high and continu continuation and let's watch the high of the current candle around 1657 and just above there for a potential breakout to the upside but we're really waiting for this market to make its mind up and determine uh, direction in either way.